Greetings everyone, The Good Tonight's here, and today we're doing a first impressions video. So, let's over review, because I haven't had nearly as much time to fiddle around with it, but definitely a first impressions, because this is still relatively new and pretty awesome. So today we're looking at the Cry SPC, which, as I've been informed, does not stand for Spooky Plate Carrier, but instead actually stands for Structural Plate Carrier. Kind of a combination, most visibly noticeable, aesthetically, as a JPC, with some AVS structural support components. So, let's take a look at that real quick. So, initially this was only out in multicam, and it just recently came out in uh, Coyote Brown and whatnot. So, actually taking a look at it, sound really good. Thought it would be a good replacement for the JPC 2.0 that I was rocking, which was a lot like a sweatshirt. I didn't really think they could improve upon the, desi the uh, design, but lo and behold, this comes out. And all of a sudden, I could see the uh, flaws I had with the JPC that I didn't know even existed until I tried this on. So, <clears throat> this is a pretty unique setup. So the Coyote, Coyote Brown version is made in, well, like all the versions are made entirely out of Airlight, which more or less replaced the, uh, did it replace? Or is it the, the Hypalon from the, uh, part of the, uh, little shoulder strap up here that was on the JPC. So you can see where the JPC cut out and the 2.0 pull away uh, maritime escape tabs are. And yeah, so we've got this laser cut sort of design going on here. Now the Airlight isn't exactly new. It did exist previously with uh, Cry. It was just in a very weird convoluted design. So they, this is definitely a massive improvement. So <clears throat> the front plate bag we have here Patches aren't as relevant at this point, but you got these uh, laser, or laser cutout little sort of design going on here. So we've got our two clips up here for our, our swift clips so we can attach our uh, chest rig and whatnot there. And it's gonna sit relatively high up here. <clears throat> now the whole front plate bag is actually covered. Now things they removed from the JPC on the front plate bag was the uh, built-in admin little pouch up here. So we no longer have that, which is okay. For me, I didn't really use it. My good buddy, uh, Mythic USA, he actually still uses this quite a bit, so he's actually not currently able to replace it because he doesn't have a tiny enough admin pouch to put up there. They also removed the little, um, <clears throat> what's the word, kangaroo sort of setup in the uh, front velcro, but that's okay because they did something else special here. So, immediately moving on to the back plate bag, or at least the outside of the back plate bag. As you can see, the laser cut is very intense to help remove a lot of the weight. The drag handle has been removed to remove weight, and uh, I guess you're less likely to get dragged as a result, for better or worse, or maybe it was just deemed unnecessary. Either way, never really used it, never really got dragged, but you know, cool idea. Let's look at the zip-on panels for all the backpacks and fun stuff you might want to put on there. Now, <clears throat> I'm about to, this is the really, really important thing, one of the big things that sold me. An issue I've been having since my first LBT-1694, and in particular with the JPC, is with the way the cover button sets up, particularly in the back plate, and um, the fact that the back plate always tends to sit a little bit too low. If you've run real plates, you'll definitely know this, even if you just ran like fake plates, it might even, wouldn't have been as obvious, because the weight's not going to put as much strain, but it's still there. The huge, huge improvement what absolutely, why this has to be a first impression video, I can't wait for the actual review, is because Cry actually added these two little nubblies down here. Now that doesn't really seem significant, but originally, if you look right up, where is it? There it is, there's one right there. So you see where this uh, top one is going down here, that's normally where the second bottom one, or the uh, third bottom piece would go through. And the second piece would generally go through here, and the third piece would go up and through here and whatnot, and that's where your cover bun would sit. Now that cover bun <coughs> would sit parallel to the front cover bun, but because of the way shoulders and everything works, your rear plate bag would always sag, and your front plate bag would sit well, but your rear plate bag is just way too low. This, with a stiffer cover bun, that's really the big thing, so this two up piece cover bun here, or two rolls of molly, it actually has this black built-in support panel which I've had on a, uh, <clears throat> was an Eagle Industries cover bun. I was running with a LBX0069, I think it was. It was a long time ago. But this thing allows you to mount pouches and everything with a weight-bearing system on your side, so it's not actually wearing you out or bending the plate carrier causing any sorts of problems. 
huge upgrade, especially now that it has a breathability thing going on. And let's see, just a quick note, there's also soft loop Velcro on the inside of here. I haven't yet figured out why, but it's comfy, and if you want to like hide extra patches, then hey, cool, you got a place for it. It's pro but you can also, with the structural support, you can actually mount your side sappies without it putting a bunch of wear and tear and weird strain on your uh, cover button. <coughs> now, with these two boys down here, what you do is you mount your top part through what would normally have been the bottom part, and these two come just a little bit lower, and they mount into here so they're still providing that upward support, and also for forcing the back plate bag to actually cover the part of your back that you need it to cover. Really big deal! Like, I can't really emphasize enough. If you've had this problem, then hey, guess what? Cry finally has a solution for you. After all these years, brothers. <laughs> But yeah, the laser cutout's pretty cool, although it leaves the plate somewhat exposed, but also being this whole crazy water light thing, or air light, you're, you can get this wet maritime style and it's not going to add any weight, unlike your uniform. But, hey, a little bit weight off is always a good thing, right? So, your shoulder setup, same, standard, they changed the uh, little grip up here for the actual rip away. That's just a little bit cooler looking as, as opposed to the earlier nub they had, but the rest of it works functionally the same as the JPC 2.0. So yeah, we've talked about this cool sexy cover bun. I haven't really talked about this black tab outside of just providing support. This actually goes into the front of the plate carrier to help provide additional support up to the front. And because it wraps around the waist similar to the OCC dial, it's a bad comparison because I actually hate the OCC dial. There's a few people who like it. And there's people with foot fetishes too, so you know, to each of their own, I guess, but it kind of works like that, but because it um, goes up in the front plate bag, it's also supporting the rear plate bag, putting a little bit of that extra weight on the side to push it up, puts a, takes a little bit of the strain off the back. I mean, helping, having the rear plate bag actually sit all the ways up there is the big bonus, but that also helps. Every little bit helps, so something I haven't talked about just yet, as I'm sure you may have seen on parts of the camera, is if we actually get to the part of the plate bag that touches your body, you've got this massive, like, thick, double mesh sort of setup. Now, this, let me actually yeah, just rotate it that way, this is incredibly comfortable. So it gives you just enough space to uh, keep breathability going. you still got your uh, elastic here to make um, adjustments for the plate bag size and whatnot. But mostly this mesh plays a huge deal, because with the JPC 2.0 just being this uh, elastic material all the ways across, I would always get these square hot spots on the front of the chest and low on the back, lower than it should have been. The mesh, I've worn this <coughs> for several hours inside, <coughs> not a lot of time outside just yet. Again, first impressions, not review. But this mesh, I would take it off and there wouldn't be any crazy sweat marks going on. Although the weather is a bit hotter today, I'm sweating without wearing this, so. This mesh makes a huge difference and if you if you try it out, you'll definitely know. Now it's a bit thicker down on the lower portion where they also added the uh, the Velcro that helps hold the bottom of the plate bag together. And there's a little bit more at the top. And that adds a bit of really soft padding that makes the plate carrier a bit more comfortable to wear. So let's actually put this on. We've talked about it ad nauseum, so slide that on and over. Actually get those on short so the uh, shoulder straps are pretty maxed. We get that set up. Ugh. Wearing my $3 Hanes t-shirt under here today, so what you do to put this on is there's these little inserts on the side of the front plate bag, and that's where these just slide into. So I like to hold the Velcro back here this way. This is not as fast of a process, but it is a far more beneficial process. Slide those boys in there. Nice and comfy. Overlap your Velcro. Now the thing I haven't talked about just yet is on your quick pull-aways here, they actually got the tabs on the outside, so you just rip those and you're free. Now they actually have these little Velcro bits here, and they, as long as you mount that, you've got your uh, thing secure on the outside, so you can throw everything over there. When you need it, you just go, Wacha! and you're free. Now that pulls it completely free here, and initially after I did my first initial test, we'll still get the sizing going, I forgot, I wasn't even really, I didn't really forget, I hadn't paid attention to how that worked, I must put this back, I was like, oh, was this always flaccidly flopping around here? No. You give it a little bit of the uh, vitamin V, and you put it back over there, and boom, you're set. So you got your quick pull-away tabs at a moment's notice. Now, I've got these running slick, which, ironically, they have fantastic support now, and I 
don't really like carrying anything on my sides. It gets in the way of my pistol belt for the most part, and I don't really want things in the way of the draw of my handgun, and I'm not going back to a leg rig because the mid right holster safari line is super comfy. So, <clears throat> with that in mind, we've got things clear, the added ventilation, and again, for the big review, I'm actually going to have a little air light radio pouch that I've been wanting to test out for the longest time, but haven't ordered it just yet. It's on the way, fear not. So, as I was mentioning with the way the play bag sets up now, it actually sits up a good deal higher. That would have been an entire row about that much lower had I not had the lower playback set in place. It still goes front to back edges. That one second, there we go. That's a bit more comfortable. You actually feel it up on that upper back. I've got surprisingly a lot of back to work with for one reason or another. It might just be bummed though. No, no, don't judge me. So we're comfy. We got our weights going. We can jump. We can move. And this thing isn't going nowhere. So. Now, for the stuff I haven't tested, but I've been pretty eager to. Actually, I have tested the chest rig. So we've got our Spiritus Mark IV here, which is why we have these speed clips. The speed clips aren't really secure, so you can flop them up here, but it's no big deal. Snap that one in place, snap that one in place, give it a little pull, and set. So we've got our chest rig. It's got a little bit of Velcro balance to it because of the little escape tabs here, but Again, no big deal. We're comfy. We still got a good deal of space on the bottom where the plate bag is, so our tourniquet actually isn't getting in the way of anything. And you still got that little button down there. You can still mount your ABS panels and mag pouches and all that good stuff that you were probably using on your JPC 2.0. No problem. So if you're not running a Spiritus and you're running the uh, JPC sort of stuff, that's still going to fit on there. That's not going to be a problem. And if of course, spirit just means I can also move my pistol mags up here if I so chose. But we're not going to because I don't like them on the belt line, even though I seldom use them. It's almost all rifles, so. With that in mind, <coughs> we got that set up. The radio, the radio I'm actually going to keep the PTT up through here on this uh, top right, left one here. It's out of the way. Coil is going to go underneath there, and that's going to go into the radio pouch. So we do have comms set up. We'll have our helmet, and we'll get everything popping there. When that all comes in, um, where was I going next to? Yes, so, part two, uh, we're going to grab our tag, combat sustainment pouch. Now, so, since this is going to be sitting a bit higher, I haven't had a chance to actually test how this is going to work, so, hey, it's exciting. We're doing something new-ish. So we're going to put that up there. Come on, oh yeah, there we go. I haven't worn this in a hot minute. We got that going. That's good there. Your chest strap going. Okay, how's that sitting? That's sitting perfectly flush with the plate carrier. If I actually put stuff in there, I'll have a lot less flop to it. That's just the weight of the mags with nothing underneath to support them. So, we're still looking pretty good. Hey! Nice. So now we grab our uh, street sweeper. Ghetto blaster, whatever you want to call them these days. Throw that on. Now, a point of contrition I've usually had, moving away from, uh, well, pretty much the issued a plate carrier that had the little neck guard. There's really nothing to keep the sling off the shoulder. It's more of a personal gripe, not a big issue professionally, but yeah, we got everything comfortable. Everything's neat, out of the way so far. All right, so we got, right shoulder is actually collapsed that stock just a wee bit there, there we go. So now we got some comfort going. Lean in, aim in, targets and whatnot, so. All right, so rifle sits comfy, sling sits good. That right shoulder, we got tread left shoulder bump transition. Bump transitions have no problem. The, uh, well, that's just catching on the backpack. That's not even catching on the plate carrier. So, yeah, no big issues there. You can effectively come around, aim around the corner that way. Or we can actually bump transition to make ourselves a smaller target at the cost of accuracy. Cool, Gucci. So, rifle sits comfy, no issues there. Helmet and comms are generally going to be out of the way. Backpack might cause a bit of an issue, but not really. So, everything's working exponentially better than the JPC. So the JPC has vest feel, but without any of the side support, all that weight was straight up on the shoulders. This actually putting some of the support on the uh, cover bond and stuff is helping a lot with the back pain. Now I'm getting old. I'm really good tonight here is already turned 31 and well past the uh, usual 
survival ages, so. <coughs> plague's still there. Well, the plague is still there, but. Ugh. Well, that was nasty. We're doing good. Oh, we are doing much better. Let's have access to our notebook. Handy dandy notebook, in case we want to play Blue's Clues out in the field. Like, yeah, we're. Alright, this is incredibly comfortable, so. So far, I am very, very happy with the way this is working. Let's go ahead, let's strip off some of this extra stuff here. Yes, I know. Uh, get the bag off. Alright. Probably not going to carry the bag any more than we need to. We can quick release that. It's mostly just going to have Hydra in there. And yeah, we're good. So, that's the review. Usually, Japan wise, no one's really going to know much about this until FMA and TMC make their knockoff versions. How well they're going to be able to replicate this high precision laser cut, I don't know. I'm eager to see, but it's not going to be as cozy as the real deal, so. Plates are comfy, and there's actually, because of the little bit of pull, I can actually get some uh, space under the shoulders. You couldn't do that very well with the JPC, because all the weight was on these little shoulder pads here. So, we are Gucci fam. Incredibly comfortable, and um, I actually was able to get the Coyote Brown, because I was fortunate enough to be checking out the SPC, and still reading back into it, and one day, on like day three, I popped it up, and there were colors outside of Multicam, and I was like, hmm. Actually, let's get that, let's get that thumbnail. It's good. Oh, it is good. Yeah, so, if you have any questions, let me know. I've, I'll be honest with you, when I got my JPC 2.0, it was a huge upgrade from the LBT-1694, for me anyway, again, I'm running a minimalist load, so there are people who will disagree, but now with the addition of this, I feel like the 1694 might be getting more and more into the field of outdated, because I know my buddy uh, Redbeard loves to carry a lot of extra junk on the side of his plate carrier, and the structural base cover bun, not being eagle, this other was an issue, so the Eagle one was like three big, that's pretty standard, but the really big issue was that it didn't strap it to the sides here. Okay, yeah, forgot to mention these, uh, the cables actually got running through there, the uh, uh, bungee cables, they actually go into a little slot on the bottom here, in the, I guess the, the what you call it canonically the butthole of the back plate bag. You tie those together, stuff it up in there, it goes on the side of the plate, and it's out of the way. So, that's a lot cleaner too. I forgot to mention, I really like that. Can you actually see that? I can't see it, so I just assume you... Now I'm sure you guys can see it. That actually goes up in there, and it's a big deal. Now with the LBT-1694, you have that little over piece of fabric, and the cover bun could move freely side to side. On the inside, now that could be problematic, <coughs> because it would slide some ways, and occasionally, <coughs> if you add... I need to stop coughing, Jesus. <coughs> or, sorry, non-denominational deity. You'd have your plate, <laughs> your plate bags back here, and if you slide it out, it'd go one way, and then it would catch on the back end of the cover bun, and now your cover bun's tilted, and it was a pain in the kidneys to fix, as you'd imagine. So, you can still use the um, AVS GPC uh, plate, side plate bags here. I'd actually like to get a pair put them just uh, back here to give us a little bit of extra protection. Or if nothing else, it gives us a little bit more weight so we can do some uh, more intensive weight vest training. But yeah, we're, I have no idea how far into this video. And with the JPC at this point, I would have this nice little bit of back pain, like right up there. Um, where is it? Somewhere at the bottom of the shoulder blades, but nothing yet. I mean, I'm going to wear this, but I wear this a bit longer. It's going to start to ache, but... Again, we're coming off of like a month of sickness. Back muscles have taken a hit, so it'll get better. We will wear it until it's comfy, because that's how things work in life, so. Everything's good, everything's Gucci. I really think I've talked ad nauseum about this plate here. I don't think I've missed too much. I'm sure that Velcro has a purpose, and it's slipping my mind right now. Someone's gonna mention in the comments, and I will look like an idiot. But, hey, so. Also, these tend to stay up on the front a lot better than the old ones, so that's another cool design feature. And they still rip away just fine. If I want to, I can just pull these out, pop that out, and we're free to continue maritime operations. Yeah, so... I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked having a plate carrier that I can actually run plates with that's not going to exhaust me as quickly. 
is a big deal because not many people like wearing plates and I like the extra fitness and the added comfort. Comfort's always the thing that's going to be in a premium, so lighter weight, better comfort are uh, pretty big Gucci things for me. Oh, uh, there's also, if you still wanted to run like the traditional single straps and other weird crazy stuff or put those little eh, stupid pull away tabs for your cover bun, you still got these tab nubby things to do that if you so chose. I'm not going to, but I mean, again, it's about your right to choose, because that's what freedom's about, and that's why we have amendments. And the First Amendment's great, but as the Hobbit said, what about Second Amendments? I'll stop, I swear. <laughs> I probably deserve that. So, that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to ask any questions or anything, I do have this. I'm going to be keeping it. For a very, very long time, and I'm very happy with the way Tactical Gear is coming along, because that means that I can continue into old age and still be comfortable. Yay. Small victories. So, if you have any questions, go ahead, comment that down below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Ultimately, I'm just going to be chillaxing in this blank area and waving around my fanny pack. So, yeah, um, we'll have more videos here in the near future. I still have to review this uh, cool burrito here. Which, mm, once you name something burrito, you know it's good, even if it is an IFAC. So, cheers everyone, stay chivalrous, stay Gucci, hang loose, um, and uh, don't uh, say boogaloo too many times online, you'll scare people in suits and they'll come to your house. Cheers, see you guys.